Welcome once again to Musings by Danon. As I stated in a previous video, my local game store is running a Midnight Hunt Commander League. We have to pick a new commander from either the regular set or the commander precons, and the deck has to be under $100. When it came turn for me to pick, I went with Rem Carlos, Stalwart Slayer. I decided that Earthquake Tribal would be a lot of fun to build, so that's what I went with. I also wanted to challenge myself and see if I could keep the deck list under $50 while still meeting all of my checklist requirements. 50 mana sources split between lands and ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. So let's take a closer look at our commander and see what will go well with him. Rem Carlos Stalwart Slayer is a 3 mana 2 3 legendary human knight with flying and haste. He also has, if a spell would deal damage to you or another permanent you control, prevent that damage, and if a spell would deal damage to an opponent, or a permanent an opponent controls, it deals that much damage plus one instead. That plus one damage isn't a lot, but it adds up. It's almost a mana rock, giving our big X spells one more point of damage. The biggest and best support piece we can give Rem is Fire Song and Sunspeaker, which helps keep us alive for long periods of time. But since we're not running any tutors, we can't count on having both of them out on the battlefield. So we've got Radiant Scroll Wielder as well. And since we're casting big spells, I wanted the ability to copy them. So I've included Double Cast, Double Vision, Dual Caster Mage, Increasing Vengeance, Repeated Reverberation, and Wild Ricochet. And what big spells are we casting? Earthquake, of course, as well as Rolling Earthquake, Magma Quake, and Starstorm, all serving as board wipes, and most of them also deal damage to players. To damage our opponents, we have Banefire, Blaze, Devil's Play, Fireball, and Jaya's Immolating Inferno. Combine any of our big damage spells with the insult side of insult injury, and you could take someone out instantly. Maddening Hex will also drive our opponents crazy. But how are we going to cast these big spells? We have a lot of mana sources helping us with that, including Mana Geyser, Jaya Ballard, and Stormkiln Artist. We're also running a ton of mana rocks, including our colored mana sources in Fire and Marble Diamond, Fell Warstone, Boros Signet, and Commander Sphere. Meanwhile, Soul Ring, Mind Stone, Sisse's Ring, Worn Power Stone, Ergolem's Eye, and Hedron Archive all provide a boost of mana to help cast our big X spells. To make sure we have lots of spells to cast, we are running Showdown of the Scalds, Valakut Exploration, Heartwarming Redemption, Unexpected Windfall, Explosion of Riches, Thrill of Possibility, Cathartic Reunion, Faithless Looting, Fateful Showdown, Flumpf, Plarg Dean of Chaos, and Magus of the Wheel. For repeatable wheel effects, we also have Dragon Mage and Chandra Flamecaller. For spot removal, we have Disenchant, Abrade, Lightning Bolt, Shock, Invoke the Divine, Mog Salvage, and Pillage. To help protect our stuff, we're running Timely Ward and Dawn Charm. Chain Reaction serves as our final board wipe, while Light of Hope, Valorous Stance, Burrow's Charm, and Chef's Kiss are all flexible answers in a variety of situations. As far as our lands are concerned, we're sticking with budget tap lands like Boros Guildgate, Boros Garrison, Temple of Triumph, Windscarred Crag, Alpine Meadow, Lorehold Campus, and Stone Quarry. Myriad Landscape is there for additional ramp, along with Evolving Wilds and Terramorphic Expanse for color fixing. Command Tower, Battlefield Forge, and Exotic Orchard, as well as five plains and 19 mountains, round out our mana base. So let's see how the deck list stacks up to our checklist. 52 mana sources, 37 lands and 15 pieces of ramp. A little high, but we're trying to cast big spells, so that's okay. Card advantage, we have 16. 13 pieces of interaction, 5 board wipes, 0 pieces of graveyard hate. For winning out of nowhere, if we have insult paired with any copy spell, we should have enough damage in hand to end the game right there. So with the exception of graveyard hate, our deck checks all the boxes. The deck is fun, and you should have some explosive turns. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it together after the league and continue to upgrade it, or if I'm going to use most of the pieces to build a new deck. If I decide to upgrade the deck, I'll let you know in a future video. But for now, thanks for tuning in. I'm always happy to talk about Commander, and this deck is a lot of fun and easy on the wallet. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, there's a link to her Fiverr page below. Please like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you all again next time.